Joni has never really liked Bob much which most people have put down to professional jealousy. During a 2010 roundtable discussion with the Los Angeles Times, folk legend Joni Mitchell has launched a scathing attack on fellow songwriter Bob Dylan, labeling him a fake and a plagiarist. She said, Bob is not authentic at all. He's a plagiarist, and his name and voice are fake. Everything about Bob is a deception. We are like night and day, he and I. Three years after making those statements, she revised them somewhat, blaming it on the idiocy of the interviewer. I hate doing interviews with stupid people, and this guy's a moron, she said. Addressing her claim that Dylan is a plagiarist, Mitchell explains, it's not like I outed him. He stole all of his lines out of a Japanese hoodlums novel. There was a lawsuit impending, but it got dropped. He told me I haven't written a song in years. I said, what are you talking about? Who's writing them then? He came down to craft. She claims she's not at all disappointed in Dylan, though, praising him for inventing a character to deliver his songs. Because you can do things with that character. It's a mask of sorts. To sustain a gift for a long time is rare. There have been a lot of attempts to present her as the female Dylan, which understandably annoys her as she likes to be considered an artist in her own right. She's never really liked him even though he gave her a spot on the Rolling Thunder Review Tour, which helped to boost her career. Bob and Van Morrison shared a bill for a short tour in 1998 and apparently the three didn't get along at all. The most telling quote Joni gave about Bob comes after they performed together in 1994. On the third night, they stuck Bob at the mic with me and that's the one that went out on tape. And if you look closely at it, you can see the little brat. He's up in my face and he never brushes his teeth, so his breath was like right in my face and he's mouthing the words at me like a prompter and he's pushing me off the mic. It's like he's basically dipping my pigtail in ink. The plagiarism quote comes at a time when Joni revived her recording career after an effective retirement. Bob had released a string of albums which were incredibly well received and were huge sellers. Several of them were on Rolling Stone magazine's list of the 500 best albums of all time. Suddenly Bob wasn't just a nostalgia act, he was considered relevant to the times and his new albums were eagerly anticipated and devoured. Mitchell's return to recording was greeted well but didn't receive the glowing tributes Bob did. It appears she wanted some of the adulation Bob enjoyed as not just an elder statesman but as a contemporary recording artist as well and was annoyed she didn't get it. As Andy Lore has said, Bob borrows phrases and expressions from artists he's admired and things he's been reading. He's always done it and has always been open about it. Sometimes he quotes things that are more obscure, but frequently his reference points are easier to spot. Michael Gray's book song and Dance Man went to pains to document the references Dylan has included from the Old and New Testament long before his Born Again albums. Quite why this should annoy Mitchell who comes from the same folk tradition Bob does is a bit of a mystery. Joni and Bob are both considered fairly difficult people to get along with, but Bob has always played his cards close to his chest and doesn't like talking about other people in derogatory terms. Mitchell, however, has always been a fairly bitter person and more than happy to vent. Finally, there are those who believe Joni's dislike of Bob stretches way back to the 70s. In the video from the band's last waltz, everyone joins the group and Dylan on stage for a final rendition of I Shall Be Released. It's clear a great time is being had by all. Neil Young, who has never held back in his admiration of Dylan, is clearly loving being on stage with Bob, but Joni, who is standing next to him, never cracks a smile and looks bored and annoyed throughout. As for Bob Dylan, he has never responded to Mitchell's comments and allegations. In fact, while Mitchell was making those comments, he played the album version of Coyote on his satellite radio show Theme Time Radio Hour in 2009. He introduced it as a song by a strong-willed woman, and I mean that in the best possible way.